2013 Buick Verano. And today we're going to be replacing the O2 sensors. Let's get to it. So this is the Buick Verano with the 2.4 uh, inline four cylinder. And uh, we're going to be utilizing our oxygen sensor socket set. You can get these as rental tools pretty much anywhere. Um, I own one, obviously, because I don't have time to wait for a loaner tool to show up. But we're going to be replacing the upper O2 sensor and then the lower O2 sensor. I'm just going to touch on it because it's the same thing as the upper, but it's a lot easier. So I wanted to do the actual video on the upper or upstream O2 sensor. Uh, so there's no confusion on that. And the lower one, like I said, is very easy. Um, so let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need to do is remove the 10 millimeter bolt holding in your valve cover right here. Why did you do that? I have no idea. Remove your oil cap and then pop the rear cover off of the two little holding tabs. With your little engine cover out of the way, you can see we now have access to the exhaust system on the back of the engine. And this sensor coming out right here is your upper O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor, whatever you want to refer to it as. First thing I always like to do is go ahead and unplug it. This makes unscrewing them a lot easier. It's hard to hold my camera while I do this. First thing you need to do is you can see this blue safety pin. Go ahead and pull that out and then lift up on this tab and you'll be able to disconnect it. Second, you have a little connector that's attaching it to a wiring harness. I'm trying to get this in the light. I'm sorry for the terrible video quality. And you're just gonna need to pull this out like so. All right, your O2 sensor is now unplugged and it just needs to be unscrewed from the exhaust manifold. To do this, we're going to use our little adapter tool right here. You can see it has a slit in it for you to slide the wire on. And then we can just put that down on top of the O2 sensor nice and easy. And then we can come in here with our 3 8 ratchet. And mine is the swivel head style ratchet. This isn't needed for this job, but it is convenient. And make sure you punch your camera while you're doing this job. It's always good. And with it broken loose, we can unscrew it the rest of the way by hand. And we have successfully removed the O2 sensor. And that's how you remove the upper O2 sensor or the upstream O2 sensor, whatever verbiage you want to use for it. All right, we got our brand new O2 sensor. Make sure that you remove this plastic covering. It keeps the anti-seize on the threads here. So again, that plastic covering, just make sure that if yours comes with one, that you remove it before installation. Go ahead and insert that in. Just start threading it. Don't worry too much about the wire. Just try to keep it out of your way. Make sure it doesn't get tangled up on anything and accidentally pull something. <clears throat> go ahead and put that down nice and tight you don't need to go crazy on it but just make sure it's on there tight enough that you don't have an exhaust leak and then we can go ahead and reconnect our connector like so and reinsert the safety tab I know this is a little bit off camera but I'm doing my best I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this back there so it doesn't accidentally lay on top of the exhaust manifold. And that's it for the upper. Let's go over the lower real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on the lower because it's exactly the same as the upper, just a lot easier. 
And underneath the vehicle, we come to the back of the engine where the exhaust system is. And you can see our downstream or lower O2 sensor right there. It's exactly the same. Just follow the wire up to the connector, disconnect it. And this is so open right here. You can do the whole job with just an adjustable wrench like so. So that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.